they, they both nod at you, like glance around, and almost wistfully, like, turn around and begin to essentially jog back <laughs> the way you came. And takes only Thank about. Thank you guys. Man, it takes only about 30 seconds before you can't really even see them anymore. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, so, do we mention anything about that to the police, or screw that and just go straight to the media? Well, if we tell them we were attacked by Anonix, they're going to ask how we didn't, you know, die. So we, we we need to tell them something. Tell them we ran away. We are chickens. <laughs> and don't have any Pokemon. Hold on So now. we booked it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do, why do we gotta be chickens? What if we fought the Onyx off? With our bare hands? A punch me. <laughs> Roll an attack. I don't even... I think it's just a strength check. Yeah, strength check. <laughs> you know, probably. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just gotta... Yeah, knock V on the shoulder. <laughs> ah, what? Why? Look, why don't we just not mention the onyx? Why don't we say there was a cave-in and we found a little gap in the rocks after pushing it a little bit? Sure. Okay. Do, and then we, do we talk about the onyx to people who aren't potentially on the payroll of the people who would cover this up? Yeah. All right. I'm down for that. I'm just gonna let you guys do the talking. You seem to be, have a good grasp of it. Yeah. Yeah, tell them whatever we want. Sure. You know, have a good poker face, Milo. <laughs> he kind of like smiles a little bit. No, not not really. No, I don't. I don't like lying too much. Just uh, strategic truth is the best in these situations. But if well, you guys just wanna. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll you can just... just stand there and look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. If you think I can, then yeah. Why not? All right. And he'll <laughs> just start striding forward. All right. Oh, he thinks you're pretty. <laughs> I I had never heard him say that before. I'm concerned and confused. <laughs> v hit his head a little bit too hard and got nicer <laughs> somehow. <laughs> um. All right. In which case, yeah, you slowly begin to head over to the police, and it doesn't take a long time before you're noticed. Um, we'll kind of speed through the process here, because I don't want to be a police officer interviewing you guys <laughs> about what happened. You don't want to be Jenny? You don't want to be officer and her 8,000 I... cousins? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we'll skip over that part. Needless to say, you are met with the same kind of reception as the other ev evacuees, except, like, more shocked because they thought that you wouldn't be able to get out. So you're immediately given, like, one of those, like, panic blankets, sat on the back of an ambulance, yeah. and, you know, given, like, hot chocolate, and once they examine you for, you know, head trauma and anything else, eventually, after about blanket's an hour... Fine, yeah, <laughs> the blanket's yours. Okay, you can write blanket <laughs> if you want to steal it. They're not going to take it from Hell yeah, you. shock blanket. Yeah, shock blanket. Um, but yeah, they eventually interview you. It it takes a while, and especially because, like, yeah, you guys departed from Celadon City around, like, noon or one-ish. But from the time that everything is, uh, by the time you're done, it's already, like, eight, nine in the evening. Um, the officer that takes your statement eventually is like, uh, all right, uh, well, we're just about done here, but uh, do you have anybody give us a ride home. in who can take you home, or would you like us to well, give, give us a ride? You a home. ride. Uh, all right, <laughs> yes. Uh, Milo is just sheepishly drinking, drinking hot chocolate. Like, I'm, I'm sorry for my friend. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, right. No, yes, I can do that. Is there anywhere that you can stay in Viridian City, or would you like me to just take you to the Pokemon Center? Because there's obviously rooms there, if you'd like to. You, can you just take us to Pallet? <laughs> Pallet, um... You know, I have to... 
I'm afraid maybe no, but I will definitely talk to somebody in the Pokemon Center and see if maybe I can organize a ride for you. Are you... Do you not have money to stay at the Pokemon Center? It's it's only a little bit. And if you're Pokemon trainers, which you did mention we, that you came from Celadon, you can technically stay for free. Okay, if provisional licenses apply, we just all got ours, so if right. we can stay at the Pokemon Center for free, and then you can arrange a ride for us in the morning, that would be great. I can... Yeah. She seems kind of shocked by your manner, but she's like <laughs> trying not to be mean to a trauma, you know, traumatized kid. So she's like, "I, y y yes, I, I can do that. Yes, of course. If that's if that's easier for you, are you boys okay with that? Then everybody, yeah. except for the loud, you know, aside from the loud one as well. Y yeah, that that sounds good. Just we could stay at the center and make oh. it home tomorrow. All right, so sounds good. All right. Uh, well, my cruiser is right over there, so just go ahead and, yeah, uh, get in. Um, and, yeah, she will drive you the rest of the way to Viridian City, uh, which is Viridian City at night. <laughs> Dark Viridian. Viridian, Viridian after hours. Yeah, Viridian after hours, exactly. Okay. Well... I don't have adorable little pixel sprites for your trainers, so just like use the power of imagination. <laughs> oh wait, we have icons, hold on. <laughs> I'm wondering, I used to do pixel art, it was literally the only thinking. art I could ever do. <laughs> that would be so cool. I don't know why my mouse is being really weird. Jesus! Why is me so big? <laughs> And why is it assigning the token automatically? The other two do. Yeah, it's just mine for some reason. Um, let's see. Interesting. This why is all because big? he hundred percent on that quiz, ain't it? Yep, right? <laughs> Definitely got a hundred percent. Yep. Uh -huh. Definitely. One hundred percent. That's exactly how it was. <laughs> you guys are a little bit too big, but just pretend that you're smaller. Yeah, I mean like Thing, it is all set up correctly. Hmm. It's weird. It's weird. Mm. Why is it be weird? <laughs> mm. Okay. Well. Wait. I have a Pokemon Center map. Oh, I didn't upload it. Well, fuck that. Okay. <laughs> um. Well. The power of imagination. Um. <laughs> you guys are brought. To uh, the Viridian City Pokemon Center by Officer Jenny or Jenna or Janice or whatever the fuck her name is. I have a theory that All the Officer Jenny and Nurse Joy are actually a higher class of Pokemon, but that's a whole like conspiracy <laughs> theory that just no. not for right now. <laughs> but I've been watching the anime. We're binging through the whole anime, and it, it, it my theories my theories. Seem outlandish, but they track. <laughs> Honestly, they yeah. Just never yeah. That's, yeah. Um. <laughs> God damn it. Anyways, it's just well, I do. I actually have arguments that I'm like resisting making because I do want to continue the game, but it's. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it after Later. we finish. I definitely sure. want to hear this. Um, it but mostly yeah, you... revolves around Meowth, but go ahead. I mean, yeah, the fact that they all can all talk. Yes, right? Yeah. Um, has anybody ever tried to throw a Pokeball at Officer Jenny? That's the question. It's my second question. It's Probably literally not. in my thesis statement of the argument. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, you guys head over to a Pokemon Center. Now, Pokemon Centers, I mean, you've been inside ones before. It's not like you're not allowed to go in there. It's just that most of the services inside Pokemon Centers are reserved for Pokemon trainers. And they've been kind of streamlined um, as of late. There is still obviously the main Pokemon counter where you can get your Pokemon healed. Um, but also Pokemon centers are kind of like little nooks, essentially, for Pokemon trainers to gather in. Um, and as Officer Jenny previously mentioned, also if you own a Pokemon license or a Pokemon provisional license, technically also works, you are able to stay at a Pokemon center for free. Um, yeah. You get room and board. So... Yeah. I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> um, you walk into a Pokemon Center, it is well lit on the inside. 
Uh, it's got the Viridian City Pokemon Center specifically, you know, is is nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> Very nice. Uh, in fact, let me, I'm working on a map right now, but just use your imagination. Up in front is the <laughs> the Pokemon desk with a worker behind it. For the sake of keeping this realistic, it's not a Nurse Joy. It's just another person. Are they mandated to Something. color their hair pink for company, like, <laughs> for the company? Yes. Company policy. Yeah, company policy. Company. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Are they all required to change their names legally to Nurse Joy? No, it's just a medical student <laughs> that is, you know, trying to make some money on the weekends. Um... <laughs> So yeah, you yeah. guys go into a Pokemon Center and uh, the nurse in question kind of glances up, smiles at you a little bit, and waves, uh, glances at the officer behind you, <laughs> a little bit questioningly, <laughs> being like, everything okay? Mm -hmm. um, and eventually like the officer basically beelines it for the front desk and begins to kind of explain something but you guys are free to do what you want i'm setting up a map right now give me a second as soon as we get in there and the nurse behind the counter notices us milo gives his biggest most friendliest most innocent smile <laughs> <laughs> roll a oh man what's your charisma you don't really have I have a 10. <laughs> just roll a charisma check anyways to see. Yeah, if... and he has no persuasion and, like, no charisma skills at all. Yeah. Right there with you. But... It's, it's fine. We have V. It's, it's all good. Nobody is immune to Milo's, you know, puppy-ishness, I guess. He's just such a pure soul. Right. <laughs> Um, v, v loops an arm around his uh, his shoulder and like drags him up to the front desk. <laughs> you know how this works here? Do we just ask for a room? Do they? Do we get food? I mean, or should I? I mean, I've got some camping rations. I can cook those up if they don't. Have food. No, no, they have food here. Hold on. Is uh, is is nurse or is uh <laughs> is is the police officer like telling them what's going on or just telling us or telling her to? them to let us in yes essentially uh the police officer is basically just saying like um i don't know if you've seen the news but there has been an accident on the trainway between Celadon and viridian so we're investigating that right now but these three have actually been uh, recently evacuated so um they technically have provisional licenses if you just like uh put them up for a little while um i'll be back in the morning to drive them to pallet uh, if that is required, but just give me a call if anything else happens, if they, you know, start to have, well, I guess you're supposed to, you're better equipped for, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was trying not to. Uh. <sighs> Listen, that is unfair to Baidoof, because Baidoof are actually good boys, and they provide a valuable <laughs> service to society. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. So, the, yeah, the police officer is like explained that she notices that you're like right behind there as it goes. And if they have any panic attacks. Um, anyway, call me if you need <laughs> Can anything. Have... Can we have some dinner? We were in a train crash. <laughs> Nurse Joyce. <laughs> because now it's canon. Um, Hell yeah. Who I don't have an icon for, so. Uh, use your imagination. <laughs> uh, just kind of goes. You just gotta oh. make one and use it in every single time. <laughs> I know. I'll work on it. Um. <laughs> Yeah, Nurse Joyce uh, looks up and goes, Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Uh, yeah, we have a couple of rooms upstairs. Um, we have only, like, two individual rooms open, but there's also, like, a bunk bed type situation, if you don't mind sharing. Um, yeah, that's fine. And, yeah, yeah d dinner's usually provided, I'll, but it's, like, downstairs. It's, like, a little buffet, buffet thing over there. Um, he kind of points oh. to like this this part of it, which is like dinners at like eight to ten. If you guys wanted to come down, we're about to like, roll it out. Oh, by the way, sorry, what? Earth's what? Really far away. Oh, hang on. <laughs> All right, can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah. 
I don't know why Discord does this sometimes, but I was saying, <laughs> what time? Is it, like, what time is it now? Um, right that now. It was pretty late. Yeah, it was pretty late by the time you guys got done with everything. It's already like nine to ten, but yeah, actually, yeah, retract my previous statement. Nurse Joyce sure probably enough. goes, yeah, dinner's dinner's kind of done, but I, I can probably get you guys something. Um, we usually have, like, emergency uh, microwave dinners in the back, if you don't mind those. There's a microwave upstairs as well in the common room. Um, anything better? There's restaurants. Out in the radius. I can make you camping rations. He kind of pulls no, out a bag worse, of freeze-dried food from the bag. <laughs> better, Milo, not worse. I, I've I got like, like 20 bolts on me in a dream. I don't. I'm not gonna be able to afford anything <laughs> right now. Yeah. Do you guys have any like vouchers? Uh, because we were in a train crash. <laughs> or surrounding restaurants. Uh, the police officer just kind of glances at all of you and just goes, "Um, are you not able to access? Like, y you can you not ask your parents? Because like I know that I." Asked you if I should inform, like, next of kin that this happened, but at the moment- And I said no. <laughs> yes. Uh, see, that's the part that's concerning, like, where- I understand your Pokemon trainers, but, like, we should probably contact your parents <laughs> and maybe you could ask them for- To wire you some money if you're unable to feed oh. yourselves. Okay, that's not kid, gonna work out. Kid's got no charisma, but he'll try his best. <laughs> the straightest- Face possibly to be like they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> roll a fucking, roll a fucking deception check, please. Um. <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, you you guys said you told my mom what happened. I figured I'd be back tomorrow, and she can she could be a bit much. So, I mean, I'm. The microwave what if my fine to me. what if my parental figure doesn't use uh, technology? I don't. I don't think that's what oh. they mean. Be. They <laughs> <actually laughs> wire, mean... wire us money. Well, not that she has any money to. I don't think. With. Yeah, I don't think she can. She doesn't have any money. That's what I mean. Like, what if I can't? Like, she wants us to wire money from our parents to get food. They like, we can't. To, so they, they actually want you to. You know, ask. You know. Look. Who? Milo kind of like shies back into himself. Nope, bad, bad. I'm gonna, <laughs> nope. You said microwave dinners, right? Uh, kid, do you want a microwave dinner? I'm gonna go make us microwave dinners. That was bad. Uh, this way, right? I don't. I don't know. I don't. Care. <laughs> you we don't want food, though. That sounds bad. She's gone. <laughs> she might well just, well, nurse, like, nurse Joyce is like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's, that's not, you shouldn't go in there. That's for Pokemon. That's, and you like what, open no, the door. No, whatever leads in, whatever goes <laughs> in it's here. Just it's just a hallway. It's just a hallway. All right, he said upstairs. What's in this room? God. <laughs> nurse Joyce from the other room goes, hey, please don't go in there. And you go in here. And it's like It's like somebody's office. Okay, he's just going to go over here and he's just going to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> this is Milo's office now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Officer, can mm. I have some money? A roll of Bruce Rice. You got a PhD <laughs> now. A Pokemon healing degree. <laughs> <laughs> is, is your is your friend is Milo okay? What's up? Why did he just walk back into the nurse station? Uh, I think he said things that made him embarrassed, and then he got embarrassed and left. I didn't um, really catch all of it. Anyway, V, roll me a persuasion check to convince... Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the... <laughs> it wasn't... It wasn't embarrassment. It was It was full-on fear. He was afraid. <laughs> of V. <me. laughs> he brought up a subject that he did thing. not want to. Yeah. Oh, yep, nope, I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. He pre v pretended it, he didn't hear anything and it didn't happen. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Yeah. Um, okay, 22 persuasion. You look at this tired police officer and she's just like, <laughs> what? I just want dinner, man. <laughs> you were in a right. train crash. Right. Maybe no, I know you were in a train a crash. I, okay, you know what? Here's, here's what I'm going to do. Here's 10,000 pokes, poke dollars. Just go 
and get yourself something from the general store or something. I, I, that's as much she as give, I can do. Did she give me 10,000? 10,000 is like the equivalent of like $10. <laughs> a thousand. A thousand, yes, sorry, not ten thousand. Okay. Ten thousand, oh, yeah. thousand, we were, yes, sorry. We were like, you just, you just handed this child a thousand dollars? Yeah. No, no, ten. <laughs> Have this yeah. fat stack of bills go down to the convenience store. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Hell a thousand, yeah. which is I'll like ten dollars. Um, yeah. I'll take that. But yes. And she just kind of goes, anyway, call me if they are any more trouble, I guess. <laughs> And Nurse is it Joyce just, is just like, like the emergency. Do I just call the police? Not you. I can call the police. Him. And Nurse oh. Joyce is like, yeah, yeah, all right, uh, yeah. Can I call the police? If you're in danger, yes, but maybe not. For a ride tomorrow. Yes, no, I will be here tomorrow at, like, 8 a.m., so please be out here, yeah. all three of you. And she's, like, she's trying to talk mostly to kids because Milo, <laughs> the responsible one, has, like, run off. Left. <laughs> um, and try not to, like, talk to V too much, but eventually just goes, anyway, there's some money. Let me know if there's mm -hmm. any trouble. I will be back tomorrow to drive you. Goodbye. Okay. She just oh, real quick before you go. Just go hold his hand up like, hey, real quick before you leave. Yes? Oh, I call shotgun. Oh, hey. Smart, I was going to do that. Smart. He got it early, though, because he has wow. witness. You're right there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she she just kind of like looks at you guys and goes, uh, yes, fine, yeah, yeah, okay, all right. And she kind of walks away, and you hear her muttering to herself, "This is why I never had kids." <laughs> <laughs> and walks he down. Looks back at, he, he looks back at V and the nurse behind the counter, like very proud, and just says, "Yeah, the back seats of those suck, so I wanted to get out ahead of that." Oh. They, they, they do. <laughs> Joy's like. Do we have to. Is yeah. there a way not to get locked in? <laughs> Shit. Joy's <laughs> like, I don't. I'm not legally allowed to say if I've had experience with that. I'm gonna go and see what your friend's <laughs> up to because I'm pretty sure she just did B and E, so uh, stay, stay put. Don't. Milo! <laughs> go anywhere. And he Milo, goes through this here. door and he opens it and sees you, Milo. And he's just like, <laughs> what? Break. Sorry, I I need to was... dinner. Do we have money? Uh huh. Okay, I'll meet you outside. I just... <laughs> Sorry, he looks up. It, they, I, I, they don't. I thought I got too close to saying something that was going to make them very mad. And sometimes when they get mad, they do things that are mean, and I don't like it. So I just ran. And this seemed like a safe place to hide. So I didn't touch anything. I didn't. It, it, it's cool, but. <laughs> Nurse Joy's just kind of like looking at you, going like, "Are you having that panic attack that the officer warned me?" Yes. <laughs> yes. No, I'm fine, but yes, I'm having a panic attack. Right. <laughs> You're very. Right. Right. Have fun at dinner. Please don't go Thank in you. here again. <laughs> um, I will okay. get your rooms ready. <laughs> The nurse's expression is like fucking <laughs> perfect for it our humanity. Right? <laughs> He's like, who the fuck are you people? Uh, thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Okay, let's go get dinner. <laughs> okay. All right, I've got like thousand thousand poker dollars. Uh, I don't know if that buys anything good, but it's like I think there's a convenience like store. Yeah, hey, probably... well then, get something cheaper. Is there like a dollar menu? Pokey and yeah. equivalent out here. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the convenience store around the corner. Yeah, that's fair. Poke Donalds. Poke Donalds, yeah. <laughs> A convenience oh store? Hold Poke on. Poke I, I fucking Poke have. Beanie. Hold on. I have a thing Hell for yeah. this. I have a thing for this. Hell yeah. It's not so a map, bad. but I have. <laughs> I didn't know I would be using them all today. Another icon? Fuck yeah. Oh god, hold on. Yeah, I like being artistic. <laughs> 
by McDonald's. Oh no. Oh, oh no! Why? Oh, horrible. <laughs> why? Really you know made what, my though? Dreams. You know what, though? Hold on. No, Hold on. I'm pretty sure. No, no. <laughs> it's cute. Don't, don't mind it. It's cute. <laughs> Look sure. at this shit. Look at this shit. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> No. <laughs> Do you want to go to Mime Donald's or like a convenience yeah, store? Yeah, I guess we'll go to Mime Donald's. We'll go to Mime Donald's. That's fancy <laughs> eating for a 14 year old. Mime Donald's or Canto Fried Chicken, you know? Like, or I guess. <laughs> yeah, Canto Fried Chicken. I, I kind I mean, I do like uh, Canto Fried Chicken. Or whatever mm. type of bird equivalent it uses. Pro probably <laughs> Combustion. <laughs> Canto Combustion. Chicken. Canto fried combuskin. Canto fried combuskin. Oh no. I mean, weirdly enough, yeah, Burger King you wouldn't have to change because <laughs> you just get burgers. It's just Toros, right? Or Chick. Or Chick Fil A. Hell yeah, or Chick Fil A. Yes, Chick Fil A. Well, now we have to go to Chick Fil A. Hopefully, with less bigotry in the Pokemon world, though. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, it's just you know, it's the slow genocide of Pokemon, but that's kind of reflected with how we treat chickens here, so, you know, it's all social, social <laughs> commentary. Oh, uh, incredible. <laughs> but yeah, well, uh, I well. think for Chick-fil-A sounds good, and we could definitely eat there for, you know, like, 1500 Poke dollars between the three of us, which we could afford. You could definitely, I would say even, <laughs> even lower, like, food here is not that expensive. Um, okay. So you could probably get no, a meal for amazing. all of you between, for like, 900 Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, not everything has to be bad, okay? Sometimes food <laughs> yeah, can I be mean, affordable. <laughs> I, I was shocked when, like, a camping tent was 500 <laughs> or 250 <laughs> I was like, sure, you could have my $2 for this tent. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but that doesn't make sense, but I still want it, so. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Well, you Tenor. are out and about, uh, Viridian at night. Uh, uh, Torchic Filet is definitely open. <laughs> yeah. um, v buys us uh, a chicken sandwich, some uh, chicken nuggets, and a kid's meal for Milo. <laughs> Tell him not to put pickles on the sandwich. It always yeah. makes yeah. the bread real soggy. It's, yeah, it's not good. Okay. There's enough pickle <laughs> juice in their batter. That, that, that's right. all you need. <laughs> oh, where's my soundtrack? Hold on. I don't have one for Tor Chick Fil A. I can probably. Uh, let's see, what would this one be? Anyway, what are you doing at Tor Chick Fil A? Uh, get a booth in the corner away from everybody else. Okay. And V will get the food and set it down in front of everybody. Alright. Well, that was fun. Milo's still just eating. He's just chewing. <laughs> do, you, do you guys have any trustworthy people you can, you know, give those pictures or this information to? I'm not trustworthy from here. people. I don't, I don't not anybody. Not really, but the media is pretty good at violently putting down people that they think are culpable, and I think this could definitely make the railroad culpable. So I think if we just take it to any like local radio tower. Yeah, I mean. Some some news can be uh, so. I think that's what we're trying to find out is the ones that will actually like pursue it and not just bury it. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know who owns that railroad. It everything owns everything. Someone nowadays, did. So. I mean, if we could get <laughs> word to my dad, maybe, but just, he's way off in Fior or somewhere else. I don't even know how to reach him. Yeah, I don't think he'd have much sway over this. No, I mean, he could he could <laughs> raise a stink, but people don't really listen or care about the Rangers anymore, so... It would just... It'd be kind of, you know, one spot on the news, they'd 
show up and then that'd be it. And nothing else. No one ever hear about it again. Yeah. What's that big radio place in uh oh god. I don't even remember personally. Wherever that big radio tower is. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say it was near, like, Mount Moon, because wasn't that around there? Right. Do you think Sylph would care? Who's to say Sylph okay. doesn't own that train? That's true. They yeah, probably they, do. They got their own hands in everything. <sighs> I mean, we should do it soon while the news is still relevant, but I don't think we need to do it, like, right this second if we want to go finish our business first. I mean, we could tell the officer she seemed tired, but nice. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I just realized we're having this serious ass talk and Milo's over here eating a kid's meal. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, he's got his tiny little drink, his little thing of fries. Yep. He's just got a little burger in front of him. <laughs> Um, I mean, we're gonna be in the car with her for an hour or so, hour or two tomorrow to get down to Pallet City, so we could just give her the yeah. pictures, fill her in then, at least, you know. If you think that they would care, I don't have too much experience with the law enforcement, thankfully. She's supposed to care, but <laughs> I don't know if she will. <laughs> Like I said, she seemed nice, a little tired, but nice. So, I hope, and I mean, at least it's an opportunity. I'm, it's been a while since I've been in Kanto, and I'm like, I was a kid then. But I know they, you guys were mentioning a radio tower. I know there used to be one, just like back home in Goldenrod. There should be one out here, right? If, if we're about to get so. open, we could probably I take it. Somewhere like that. Hold on. Uh, v, v will take out his phone and start looking up <laughs> where the radio tower is. Sure. Roll what an was investigation. I think it was Celadon. It was either Celadon or Saffron. <laughs> but uh, of course, it's like old info, not relevant to th the time skipping news. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just look up uh, the nearest radio station or radio network in Kanto. Let's see. Lavender Town, according to Bulbapedia. But yeah. what that's you're... So far, that's so far away. Yeah. <laughs> We've got email. We can email them. Go to every public forum you can and just post those pictures. Yeah, I mean that's. I mean, not I, a bad I could idea. post the shit out of it on Reddit, sure. Um, no, Milo wouldn't know any technical skills to try to post this anonymously, so he's not even going to recommend it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's not technologically. You know, I know suggest that you be anonymous with it, but in terms of being able to help you with that, I got nothing. I mean, yeah, and if anyone's going to do it, Blue, you're probably the care. best. Yeah, you don't care. So blast it all over Reddit, and then do we want to do that tonight, or or do we want to wait until we talk to the officer, or do we just not want to even talk to her? Because like, if we blast it all over the internet tonight, and then get in a several hour long car ride with the police tomorrow, I don't know. It it does it wrinkles it a bit. Uh, how is she going to react if we don't at least tell her before we tell everybody? Do you think if I threaten to put it on the internet, unless she does something about it, that'll help? I can I can tell you with almost 100% certainty that threatening a cop is not going to go how you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not threatening her, per se. I'm just threatening, like, if she doesn't do anything about it, like, then it's going on the internet. I mean, that's still threatening because That's you're forcing her action yeah you're not threatening harm mm -hmm. on her but you're threatening you know an action based off of her decision which forces her into you know needing to make the decision you want it's still a threat 
What if we talk to her about it and then tell her that I already put it on the internet, but I didn't? <laughs> Whoops. Oops. What if <laughs> me and Kid talk to her about it while you post it on the internet in the car ride? I can do that. Okay. Yeah, it's perfect. Hey, <laughs> what do you think about this? And you pass her your phone after you just posted the pictures and it get her to look said. at the pictures. Bonus points oh, if um, she uh Bonus points if she has to read it while driving and she crashes the car. Yeah, right? <laughs> Here, look at this right now. What? Huh? Hug? <laughs> <laughs> Time to roll up new characters, guys. Well, okay. We'll workshop it. No. But either way, not right now. So I won't do it right now. But... Alright, how do I say this? What Do you guys want to do something else tonight? Because... I might want to do something else. Is it, is it the ball pit? You want to get in the ball pit? <laughs> I mean, after there is the a There pit. is a ball pit. <laughs> I've, I've been watching my little eye on it this whole time, and like, I'm... Hey, we I can mean, go get in the ball pit. Sometimes people drop Pokeballs in there. It's rare, but it happens. How are you supposed to find them among the other balls? It's it's not finding them. You get lucky, and they find you. Yeah. Sometimes it's a Voltorb, if... though. You gotta be scared. Yeah, what, <laughs> if, what if there's, like, a Grimer in there, and it's just somebody being like, Haha, now you got a Grimer. <laughs> now you got... I mean, <laughs> Grimer's a cool. Yeah, now you got yeah. a Grimer. They're kind... Have you ever smelled a Grimer? They are disgusting. I'm gonna take your word for that. But... I mean, um, I, I got nothing I want to I kind of want to just sleep, get ready for tomorrow, and... But okay, what well, you... what if we don't sleep until later? How much later? I don't it's already know. like 10. <laughs> yes. What do you so, want to I mean, do, V? I was gonna just ask you to come do it with me, but now we've got him, and I mean, it seems like he'd be down. Um, vaguely pointing yeah. to kid, I'm presuming. Yes. Okay. He, All right. he just kind of like looks down at the table and plays with it. One of the chicken nuggets that are left is just. So, what if you we maybe go to the gym? Uh, Pokemon gym here. Mm-hmm. Milo blinks like a few times, looking at V. Are you gonna hit me? Like, can we just can we just have a no hitting policy going forward for at least the next like hour? Do I have to? It would make. Can it depend on what you say? Safer. No, that's the whole point of the fear. <laughs> Fine. Or or you can you can say it, but like it needs to be said that you you know. I want to go break into the gym. Well, yeah. I mean, you said that. No, but I mean, like, while no one's there. What? What for? Something in the gym? I. Yeah. This is what you. There's something need I to need to go see. get. Okay, I'm gonna go get a milkshake. You guys, you you two, you can fill him in, and he just gives a thumbs up because I don't want to get hit, and he's gonna go <laughs> buy buy a milkshake. <laughs> Damn it, Milo! <laughs> I'm not gonna hit you unless you say something that you know you shouldn't. That's the... Uh... <laughs> Milo makes that noise as he just kind of slinks <laughs> away to the milkshake, to the yep. counter. Yep. yep. <laughs> Nothing better than a pre-B&E milkshake. Yep. <laughs> Gives him that, that wonderful stealth gas. <laughs> v, v just turns to kid on, at the table and just like... Not super loud, but like slams his hands down on the table. Just like... Milo seems to think that you need to know, but I don't really think that you need to know. Just that I want to break into the gym. Because I need to go get something. I don't even know what you think I don't need to know. Or what he thinks I do All need right. to know. Don't worry about it. Just Let's just say that the gym leader there has something that belongs to me. Oh, why would a gym leader have something that belongs to you? He says around a mouthful of chicken sandwich. 
He took it from me. A long time ago. But now that I have my trainer's license and we're about to go get Pokemon, and now that I can have Pokemon legally, I want it back. Long time ago. We're, we're 14. Did he rob a child? Yes. <laughs> Milo is watching from about 25 feet away, just anxiously slurping a milkshake almost faster than you can comprehend. <laughs> That's a weird power move from an adult to rob a child, especially somebody at a gym. But, all right. Yeah. That's you why we leave? gotta go get back. Uh, it's my Pokemon. He belongs to me. And I was told that I can't have him, but that's bullshit. And now I've got my trainer's license to prove it. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna go I mean, if, if it's yours, it was took. I, I'm not gonna stop you. Yeah, I'm, I'm down to help. Sounds like Milo might be terrified to leave in. So, you guys are my just... tick to where we need to go. So, I mean, I'll follow you. I mean, in some, well, I suppose in burglary situations, like, more people's not necessarily better, but I feel like in this situation, it's better for us, like, if you help. Or at least, I mean, you don't have to, you can go back to Pokemon Center. I mean, this isn't one of those you where to. you say it's better for more people so that you could pin it on me if we get caught, right? No. I don't think anyone will be there, so I don't think we'd get caught, but if we did, the they would know it. It would get blamed me. On me. No matter who was doing it, I'm sure. Oh, oh well. <laughs> that makes things a lot easier then, okay. Yeah. Ideally, we don't get caught, because that would make things really unfortunate to say the least but no what be easy. happened it when is. they find out you took the pokemon they took well hopefully in the best case scenario that no one gets caught and we don't get seen then hopefully they think it was just a regular break in or maybe that it just ran away. So what you're saying is, we go in to take your Pokemon back, we need to make it look like an actual robbery. <laughs> I guess? Or if we just take it, then they have no idea what happened. I think. Is it, is it like a public knowledge thing? Because if it's just no. something that they t then they're probably going to know it's you, right? Well, they took it specifically from you. Well, you can. What what is considered public knowledge? Is it public knowledge that a gym leader has a certain Pokemon? I guess. Would it? Typically, actually, <laughs> probably no. Not a lot of people, or at least gym leaders have so many Pokemon that they kind of keep in rotation. That mm -hmm. probably not. But so why not? So, but I mean, it's there, and it could just be like they went in and grabbed whatever they could find, and that just happened to be what they took. Right? This is really hard when Milo's not here to, like, tell me how <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Milo hey, will reluctantly <laughs> return after his shake. <laughs> it's, it's your decision, I mean, like I said, you guys are kind of my ticket to where we need to go, so... If y'all are doing this, I'm there, but might want to be careful, I guess. We, we just kind of had a run in with a potential life or death situation. We're kind of yeah. like fresh on the scene, you know? <laughs> okay, uh, look, I, I just, it, it won't be a life or death situation. I don't even think if I get caught or if we get caught, I will just be in trouble. And I don't think that he would get the police involved. I'm just gonna... I'd 
be in a situation that I don't really want to be in. I will sit down back at the table. Okay, so did V V fill you in? I want to break on? in and steal a Pokemon. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I guess. I mean, they told you where we're going. This is still really hard for me. V? Talk, Milo. Did you tell him who runs the gym? No. <sighs> okay. I What's mean, you can go look at any public record and find the gym leader. I, I know. What's your plan? We go in there and we take it and leave. Okay, do you know where he's keeping it? Like, have you... You've been Probably, in the gym before. Yeah. yeah. Probably in, like, the back room. Okay. Do you know if there's any way, like, windows that we can... Okay, let's... Let's go ahead and clean up here and skulk to the gym. We'll take a look around, see if there are any windows that we can use to get in, and then one of us can stand watch. The other two can go in and... You're not gonna, like, break anything else, right? You're just gonna take back what's yours, right? This time? Sure. Okay. Alright. Alright, well, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe lucky. next time, but this time, I have my trainer's license, I'm legally allowed to have Pokemon, and I want my Pokemon. I, I am so... very proud of you for not being enticed to break more things. I am just not I think excited. there's other things that I could break. Is there anything I... else that you think he'd like in there? Sure, I break he probably likes a lot of <laughs> stuff in there. I'm sure he probably has trophies and other, you know, memorabilia. It's his gym. I could break something. No, don't break anything, V, please. And we'll, we'll, we'll see. talk while we walk to the gym. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Alright, you uh, leave Torchic Filet. Oh man, there's gonna be so many of these. I'm gonna have to keep track of them all. <laughs> okay. Anyways, Hell you yeah. uh, leave now. Here is a couple of things. Um, so this is the Pokemon Center, which is central. Um, mm -hmm. Pretend that the town is bigger than it re literally is, because obviously yeah. there's mm -hmm. like more buildings, but <laughs> suburbs um, and yep. But this is like the general layout. Now, uh, V. You know for a fact that, like, for example, this is the gym. I hope everybody can see me mm -hmm. picking. This is the gym. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's been remodeled. It looks a little bit differently in layout, but don't worry about it. You also know whose house this is. And this is like a townhouse. Okay. Um, but other than that, you don't really need to worry about anything else unless you want to ask me anything. Would, would I know if we want to go to the townhouse or the gym? Based on your knowledge, it would probably be the gym. Okay. That's what I figured. Yeah. I'm just telling you the right. location just in case because it's nearby. <laughs> <laughs> so. Then I guess... Yeah. I'm actually wait. guessing because you're at the Torchic Filet, you're probably here. Oh, heck yeah. yeah, somewhere over there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're right where we need to be. I love it right. when it works out that way. We can just scoot across the street in the cover of darkness. Yeah. This cheery music, unfortunately, will have to fade out because <laughs> you are leaving the Torchic Filet and you are heading towards the Pokemon Gym. It's crime time. It's crime time. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, three fourteen-year-old just got their provisional trainer license, about to rob a gym leader. Yeah, that's how it goes, right? Torture fully. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, I think we're back. Are we back? Yep, you are. Okay. okay. It's just going to cut out for a second. Oh, yeah, sorry. I heard three 14 year olds in a. And I was like, no! <laughs> just going to. A three 14 year old's about to rob a gym. What could go wrong? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. All right, so you head over. Are you sneaking or are you just walking the fuck down? Or how are you doing this? I'd like to know details. Probably <laughs> approach carefully once we get within like a hundred feet of the the gym. You know, mm -hmm. two hundred feet. We'll try to 
fall <laughs> off the main road. Like we'll we'll walk nonchalantly, like you know, we're <laughs> not doing anything wrong up until that point, and then we'll just try to get into either the trees or the side brush mm -hmm. and hide. Okay. Just as a general thing, I'm gonna have you be rolling a lot of stealth checks, but just as a general, like getting to the gym, please all roll me a group stealth check. Stealth. I'm looking. This is very easy. This is literally like a 15 and above, and you're already acing it. Hell yeah. Uh, okay. So Use my good roll for the first leg of the journey. <laughs> it's fine. Look at that. Two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> it actually works out really so well. Good. Yeah. You leave the Chick fil A and you go in, and you essentially, like, there's not a lot of people around, and you just wait while nobody else is looking. And UV, being, like, relatively familiar with this area, just go. Okay, mm -hmm. now we go behind these trees, and now we're in tree cover, and we can just literally, like, walk through, and you essentially end up somewhere here. Now, yeah. here's what V would know. V would know, and again, the shape of the gym is probably... Oh boy, how do I... Hold on a second, I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna edit it a little bit. I'm mm -hmm. going to edit it just a little bit because you would know that the shape of the gym is a little bit closer to something like this. So there's like a main entrance area and there's okay. like, it's wider a little bit after the side entrance bars. area. Sidebars. Yeah, sidebars. Mm -hmm. You know that, hmm, how much would we know? You've been in the gym before. Yeah. You know that the trainers, when they visit the gym, are usually directed to go to the right side. Because the bulk of what happens... Gymly-ish. <laughs> wow, that's a word I just made it's up. On the other. <laughs> it's, on, it's on the right side, yeah. That's like where the go here to start your tour of the gym kind of <laughs> arrowheads are pointing. Right. You know that... You, like the back yeah. offices on the other side. Yes, you know that the office of the gym leader is on the left. Okay. Probably where we would head around and see what's there. Okay. How how climbable are these trees? And how tall are they compared to like the the wall here and the gym? I would say they're they look like spruce. We'll leave them as spruce trees. So like, <laughs> can you climb them? Yes, absolutely, to a certain point. Um, <laughs> it's not comfortable, but you can probably get, um, like, definitely get above the first floor, but not quite up to the second floor. Then again, well, we this could... this gym doesn't really have a second floor. Yeah, it's just it's one floor. It's just a very tall floor. It, there is a dome here, yes. Okay. Um, do we see any windows that we could use to get in? You know, you see a window right here, actually. Okay. All right, all right. How far from the spruce trees is the window? Like, looking at it, does it look like it'd be, like, a leap of faith, like, might make it? Or could, do, does it look like the branches are almost brushing against the window? The branches aren't really brushing. It's probably about, like, six feet. But also, like, the window is... Technically, you can walk. So you see this little ledge that it's got here? Because mm -hmm. the gym is on a raised ledge. The ledge is still there. Mm -hmm. okay. So you could technically, if you wanted to try to climb up onto Go the in. ledge, you can try to, like, yeah, kind of, like, shuffle across on the ledge. Yeah. Towards you would the probably... Ledge. Yeah go over on the ledge and go to the window and see if it's locked. Okay. Alright, one at a time. Nice and slow, up the tree, on the ledge, and... Okay. Yeah, go ahead and everybody roll me a dex check. Sturdy. Can I use ath... No, athletics still isn't better. <laughs> I have proficiency in it, but it's still <laughs> not better, but that's 17. That's pretty good, yeah. Uh, kid kind of, like, clambers up in there. Um... Mm -hmm. And V, you're the first one there. Milo's right behind you. Uh, you're trying to see if it's locked. Are you trying to peek inside or just jiggling? Uh, he'll he'll quietly peek inside first, see if there's anybody in there, and okay. there shouldn't be. But go ahead and roll me a perception check. Oh, it was so close. 
<laughs> the hey, curtains... if I roll a natural one, at least I can roll again. That's true. Yeah. The curtains <laughs> are drawn. Two. I just rolled two. <laughs> curtains are drawn. So you're okay. looking at it and you're like, oh damn, the curtains are closed. You know that this is he the like office window, but him. yeah. Oh, what, ear? Okay. Yeah, he he was just like, he's just like shit. And then puts his ear against the window and sees it. See if he can hear anything. But probably not. Uh, yes, you don't hear anything. Yeah, it's, it's just quiet. You hear the hum of like a generator in the back. But that's about it. Is the window open? I don't know, but it's closed. The curtains are closed. You can't see if there's anybody in there. <laughs> it's the window open. I oh, don't know, but it's closed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Should I just try to open it? It's your mission. I don't want to uh, be here in the first place. Too bad. <laughs> uh, carefully try to open it. See if it catches. Okay. Um, you try to look for an opening, and like, there's not really. Hmm. <laughs> it's an office window. You try to like push up on it know. and no, it's closed. I would is say there a lock. There is a lock on the other side. It's like one of those latch locks where you literally have to yeah. like turn it. But from this side, no, there's not a lock, and it's locked from the other side. Yeah, is it something that thieves' tools could do? Ooh, do you have <laughs> thieves' tools? I do actually. Yeah, you part know. Part of the starting bag. It's part of the starting kit. <laughs> wow, incredible! I love this already. No, yeah, go ahead and roll me a thieves' tools check. So that's your. Are you proficient in thieves' tools, or is it just a dex, dex check? Don't. No, you're not proficient know. in it. Just a dex Probably check. Probably not. It's just a dex check. Yeah, yeah go ahead and roll me a dex. I don't know if it adds anything at all, but. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <So fine>. He's <laughs> determined. He is. He is determined. It still takes you a while because you're not you're not super good at breaking mm -hmm. and entering necessarily. But you yeah. wanna get in there. Probably so, got them just for this. Yeah, yeah. Um Milo and Kit are just like eventually at first they're like pressed up against the wall, like zero zero seven style, like dun 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 dun. <laughs> but by the time you're still jiggling with it, they're just kind of like sitting on the ledge, kinda of, like swinging their legs. Nobody's can around. Can I do a, while we wait? Yeah. yeah. Can I do a perception check to see if anybody is like looking at us? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Nine. Uh, <laughs> you glance up and you see just like a small Spiro sitting on the roof and it's just kind of cleaning its wings. Glances down at you. And continues to clean its wings. He just smiles and kicks his feet some more. Any luck, V? Almost. Hold on. I think I got it. Almost. Click! What? You're actually... And what? you see the latch turn on the other side. And a second later, V yes. tries to push on the window again. Or rather, yeah, probably push on the window. Pushes oh, it in and it opens. It just creaks open. Well, looks like we're not getting out of this one. Alright. Flips inside. Immediately. Like... Okay looking carefully to see if there's anybody in there. Okay. I did not expect you to go this route, so that's interesting. <laughs> I don't have a... So here's the confession I have. I prepared for this, but I was like, it's fine. They're not going to get to it today, maybe? I don't know. So I didn't prepare a map. Also, I couldn't find a, an appropriate map, so I'll have to make one. Uh, so we'll good. do the th we'll theater, theater of mind. mind. Yeah, we'll theater of mind. Yeah. For the sake of it, I do have an idea of like how the gym looks like inside the general furnishing, so I'll just drop you off here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it is very... Crazy. Yeah, first of all, everything, including the floor and the ceiling and even the walls, is like, to an extent at least, is like black marble. Um, <sighs> the general atmosphere is like very rich and like extravagant it's all in very good taste but it feels like a castle that would probably belong to Strahd for lack of a better word <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. pretentious 
um, you are in the middle of an office. Immediately before you, immediately kind of like in front of the window, is a desk. Um, you basically rolled through the window and bumped into somebody's very nice looking rolling chair. Um, like black leather. And immediately in front of the chair is the mahogany desk uh, that has been cleaned up. Uh, you are currently in... Actually, maybe I can... Hold on. I drew this little part. <laughs> hold on. Ellie. Milo and... Uh, slip in as best he can by... <laughs> trying not to bump into V on the inside of the room. Yeah. He's... Noticeably nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, I didn't expect you to be able to unlock that. Where what do you, you mean? Have... I am great. Where did you get those? I bought them. The, the question asks itself again, where? You know, <laughs> there was like a shop that like sells stuff in Celadon and they had some maybe not as legal things. <laughs> oh, okay. You went to sell it on without me. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, it um, was before we went to the test. Remember when I just I, I said I had to go to the bathroom and I was gone for like a while? The day, <laughs> yeah. I, I thought you just ditched me, but I didn't realize long. you ditched me for sell it on. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm distracting you. All right. So this thing over here, I don't know if you if you can scroll down, you can kind of see this big lavender thing is a desk. It's, it's the <laughs> desk. The window that you guys came through is right here, like right here. Um, this is a bookshelf. <laughs> uh, this is a door. Um, and actually over here, I didn't have time to draw it, but this is another door. Kid is now sitting on the desk. Oh, no, he's not sitting. <laughs> he's standing on it. He oh, stepped in through the window and stood on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we looking for? Uh, poke balls, I guess. Um, I think, I maybe think you know don't... where it is. The desk? I mean, uh, something yeah, like that. Can we, you can we run this through the desk? Yeah. Yeah, maybe look there and, and. I know he keeps, like, all of them on, like, display somewhere sometimes. I think those are the ones he fights with, though, not what you're looking Usually. for. Usually. Uh, can Milo rummage through the desk? Yeah, go ahead. Roll me an investigation check. 13. Okay. Oh, man, this is interesting. What can I give you for 13? Okay, here's the thing. You find no Pokeballs in the desk. I will tell you that right now. What you do find is, like, a binder, um, a photo album, <laughs> which you don't open because you're wiser than that. <laughs> yep, um, yep, just leaving that there. Uh, you do find a, uh, you do find, like, a black tablet that you turn on and it asks for a fingerprint and you're like, well, never mind. Um, <laughs> you find some empty Pokeballs, um, okay. that just seem to be, yes. like, spares. I'll, I'll start to put them back and then I'm guessing V will take them oh, from me. Give me. Okay. So, Can I V will take the board to see if anybody's out here? Sure. Uh, you peek out the door and you see essentially another lavish hallway that is kind of like in an L shape. Um, it is decorated with plants and it's it's almost like a little lobby prior to the office in order to essentially give another bit of space between the office and the main entry. Um, so there's like a little sofa in here, some nice plants. Um, there is a, oh wow, roll me an insight check. How many Pokeballs were there? Three. Three? Um. Hold on. I gotta whisper to you. Hell yeah. <laughs> First whisper of the Pokeball campaign. <laughs> well, technically, yeah, the test yeah, was... <laughs> the test was whispers, yes. But that was... Eh. <laughs> while, while I'm peeking out, too, can, can I go ahead and put my hood up? and kind of peek at corners to see if they have, I don't know, security cameras in a gym? <laughs> Honestly... Uh, he's so much more wise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Never Milo's said wearing important. bright red. He's he's <laughs> like just out there. <laughs> uh yeah, you can peek out. Go ahead and roll me a perception check for those cameras. Alright, I'm hoping they're not cameras, but <laughs> Damn, that's real. Yeah. You know oh, yeah. what? You know a trick. Um, kid looks around, doesn't see any cameras that are immediately, like, visible, because you look up at the ceiling and you don't see any of those, like, you know, half-sphere ones that they usually have <laughs> in grocery stores or whatever. But you're like, hmm, hold on. And you pull out your phone and you turn on the camera and you kind of scan it around the room a bit until you see a red light in the corner, inside one of the plants. And you know that's a camera. In the room with us? In the- in this room. Hell yeah. Oh, sorry, hold on. Uh, the room that is- Like out in the hallway? Oh, okay, yeah, okay, the okay. room that yeah. Kid is looking into. Okay, okay. Okay. Alright, I will relay that information, just in case you guys do not find what you're looking for there. There's definitely cameras. And also, kid, roll me a really quick stealth check also, because you're kind of almost in line with the camera, because it's pointed like halfway here and halfway here. Ooh. Okay, 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 nice, nice, nice. So you're pretty sure that you didn't actually get caught in the camera's way because the door is covering most of your body, so even if they did see you, they would most likely just see a dark figure in a hoodie, so you very quickly, like, close the door again, pop back out. You said there was another door over here, right? Yes, there's another door over here, and it looks less, like, gaudy. It looks more just like a storage room. Why well, didn't expect there to be cameras. Mm. Shit. Why wouldn't they have cameras? I don't know. I, didn't think, I also didn't think this place was going to be so grossly lavish. <laughs> At least not in the back. Like, it's nice in the front, but... I don't know. I haven't been here in a long time. Hopefully we'll just find what we're looking for, and he'll try to go into the supply closet. Okay, the supply closet is also locked. He'll, he'll clunk, clean the door. <laughs> oh, me? That thing you did, can you do it again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully... He's gonna walk up while you're doing that and just hey uh I wonder if there's a picture of somebody that looks a lot like you outside. What do you mean? I mean there's a picture of somebody that kinda looks like you but older. No idea. <laughs> Milo has a zippered lip, like <laughs> high lipped. Milo's just like backing away as if anticipating the explosion. <laughs> v, your dexterity reflects how much you're able to yeah. concentrate on opening this door. As soon as Kid starts talking, you're just like, what? And your hands are just kind of like poking, but you're not really picking the lock anymore. <laughs> Alright, well, any luck? Hold on. It's fine. Uh, he's gonna go look for a key in the desk or the bookcase. Okay, go ahead and roll me an investigation. I got an idea, too. If we need to block that camera, you have that blanket, the the safety one, right? That they gave yeah, us the... after the train wreck. We could hold it up in front of ourselves, walk towards where you saw the camera, and then just throw it over the camera. That way, all they see is just... One of them. Oh, yeah, I guess there could be more. I mean, we could just walk around with the blanket in front of us. Could we all <laughs> hide under the blanket you. and, like, Cloak of Invisibility Harry Potter this shit? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's that big, but we could try. <laughs> what were you robbed by? <laughs> <laughs> a shot a blanket. blanket. <laughs> it's a blanket with six legs. It's weird. <laughs> Scout one, dude. <laughs> Scout one, dude. Yes. Um, the, your investigation, actually, honestly, I'll give you this, and you kind of hate yourself a little bit for it, but you put your hands on your hips, and you're like, okay, if I had 
a storage room <laughs> key, where would I fucking put it? Yeah, in a bookshelf seems like it would be possible. Mm -hmm. And you glance over at the bookshelf right. and go through a couple Pretentious of books. Pretentious enough for it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, you look through the books and you pick a couple out and you're like, this doesn't seem like it would probably be on the shelf. No, nope, that's actually a real book. Oh, I guess that's <laughs> actually also a real huh, book. Surprising. Yeah. I didn't think he actually read. <laughs> yeah. Um, but eventually you get to one and you pull it out and it feels lighter. So you kind of like glance inside of it and it looks to be hollow. And there's like a, uh -huh. there's like a key in there, which is yeah. the most the most extensive. I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you get a key, um, and you can using it you can unlock the storage door, which you do. Uh, inside, it's pretty uneventful. Like it's just a storage room. It's got a couple of bookshelves extra. Um, it has a couple of just like boxes that you presume are full of old papers. Um, there is another door, but this one looks sturdier. It's just like a steel door um, that leads further back into the gym. Um, but you also see a shelf that has um, something familiar. Looks like it has a Pokeball on it. Yes. Okay. Any luck? He just runs over to it and picks it up and examines it. Okay. Um, this is one of the fancier new Pokeballs that you know have been produced recently. So it has like a hollow, not a hollow, sorry, a transparent top, mm. actually. Um, oh, yeah. So you click um, the button once and it like clears up. So before it used to be opaque. Um, but mm -hmm. you click the button once, and it clears up, and inside you see curled up a very familiar creature. Perfect. Okay. You sure that we can't, like, break or steal other stuff here? You, I mean, you got those Pokeballs. Can that be enough? Can I take, like, one more thing? I can't stop you, so... Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. We're gonna go get out and make sure the coast outside is clear. Just try to hurry, okay? In like two minutes. Yeah. Two minutes. <laughs> He'll go out the window and just leave V to their, you know, destruction of private property. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. Cool. Kid will follow after. <laughs> Good luck, V. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks, guys. Um, be outside. She's just gonna look for anything that might look somewhat interesting. Okay. Photo album, though. <laughs> well, did you tell V that you found that, or did you oh, just kind of slide no, it back in? Okay. No, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's not a lot on the desk, honestly. There's, like, some fancy, like, brush pens essentially lined up. There's a couple of decorative books. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I Got mean, it. under the table. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't want to do this, but you also <laughs> know that probably somewhere in that storage room, it would take you a while to find them. Somewhere in that storage room, you could probably find the gym badges. Mm. But your two was... friends are already gone. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Um, I don't know. I don't think he would do that. As tempting as it is, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta earn that shit. It's up to you. I um, mean, to be fair, that's where they would be, and you would probably yeah, yeah. guess that. But okay, um, he's just gonna he's gonna relock the storage room door. Mm-hmm. And make sure it's like locked. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he's gonna steal the key. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> perfect. Honestly, fair. Yeah, fair. It's so perfect. <laughs> he'll, he'll go out uh, before he goes out. He's gonna carefully try to any like footprints we may have left on the desk or the floor. He's gonna try to like find a use like the shock blanket and try to like wipe them off. Oh, that's a good point. Um, good on you for catching that, because I was going to catch you guys on that. <laughs> Go ahead and roll me an intelligence check to see if you can get all of them, and kind of return the room to the order that it was before. Yeah, he puts it all back and doesn't destroy anything, as much as he might want to. 
Okay. Not great. Okay. <laughs> but um, try. You get most of it. To be fair, there's not a lot of light sources in here, so you're kind of like wiping, mm -hmm. but you can't exactly see where you have to wipe. Um, I will say because you rolled above a five, you at least wiped the desk where Kid stood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. He was, in, was going to immediately do that, but then got distracted. Yep, that's fair. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. All right. Window. Go out, close the window, and he's going to try to relock it the best he can. But okay. Not not hard enough to, like, if he were to start damaging his lockpicks. Okay, go ahead and roll me another dexterity check, please. A token effort. Well, V okay. has been doing all this can we have made our way mm -hmm. down to like where the, the the forest was near the road like where we first started or at least Milo would be making his way down out yeah. of the trees okay well that actually went far smoother than I had any right to ever hope for it worked oh, crap. you got it I think so. yeah yeah Okay. And and we didn't we didn't trip any alarms, didn't get any cameras. Hopefully, <laughs> wow. Well, so shit. I, now I, I don't want to go to sleep. <laughs> I mean, we we kind of have to, but you gotta yeah. you gotta bring kid in. Show him, show him. Uh, maybe not here though. Let's mm -hmm. let's go back to the Pokemon yeah. Center. And we'll run Definitely. back to the Pokemon Center at like midnight. Like, kids <laughs> robbed a candy store. Okay. <laughs> kids a breakneck speed. Yeah, you're just like, a couple of people do look at you because you're just, you know, booking it down the street. Can't prove no. anything. We're just kids. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry we about have a provisional Pokemon trainer license. It's okay. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. And you rush back to the Pokemon Center and back in you go, which, um... I will say probably you've been gone a little bit longer than anticipated. Two hours, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like you get into the Pokemon in the ball Center, it was fine. and immediately like you see that Nurse Joyce is like on the phone <laughs> going, "Yeah, I think it's probably fine. I just figured like, what if they tripped and you know hit their heads and oh shit, they're here. Never mind. Don't worry about it." And he hangs up. <laughs> you telling her to do that? <laughs> Look, you, you said that you were in a train car accident, or whatever the heck it was, I just figured... Yes. a train accident. Yeah, you you good? Why? We went to Torchic Filet, had food, and played in the ball pit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ball... Yeah, the ball pit's actually pretty good there, yeah, I guess I can understand that. I always cool. said that sometimes there's Pokeballs in there. Have you ever found a Pokeball? No, only kids believe in that. Nobody would leave a po It's it's illegal to bring what? it's illegal to bring Pokemon into Torchic Filet anyways. You're not supposed to have Pokemon in what? restaurants. Well, if they're not in the Pokeball, what are you supposed to do with them? Leave them at well, home. Like, I mean, I if mean they trainers... are in the Pokeball. No, I mean like you're not supposed to like bring them out, but you're <sighs> Anyway. No, but Pokeball is in the ball. Pit. V. <laughs> no, I and... think he's confused. Yes, I'm very confused. Your rooms are upstairs. It, it's rooms. It, it's room 104. It's the one with the bunk beds. Thanks. Uh, yeah. This door, right? Because the other one you got mad at. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway. I guess that's the only door. Yep. <laughs> um, I don't actually have this Pokemon Center. doesn't have a bunk bedroom, but we'll just pretend. <laughs> All theater of mine. We're just getting to a safe place where V can show Kid what's in the Pokeball that we just stole. No. <laughs> Because yeah. we haven't said it, and so I know Earth is just like, I gotta know. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. V, v runs in, everybody else, as soon as everybody else is in, he slams the door shut. Mm -hmm. This is an ominous room with just two beds in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, wait till the, you see the other side, which I don't understand. Whoever designed this Pokemon <laughs> Center had some very interesting ideas. Hold on, I gotta show you guys this. I am There's sorry. a bigger oh, bed! <laughs> That's Which I oh. don't understand. Huh. It's like a big old medical bed with a chair next to it, too. Yeah, I think so. I think I, so. Yeah. Weird. That's weird. I mean, maybe it's like a medical bed, and these are like... Yeah. 
I think I it's know. meant to be like a Pokemon Center where like Pokemon stay and then yeah. I, I just need an upstairs, but I'll get it later. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Huh. Anyway. We're we're yeah. in a room with bunk beds and Yep. Yeah. He he slams the door shut and then just like quick puts his bag down, rummages through it, and comes back with the Pokeball in both hands. I can't I mean I can't, we did it. I mean, to be fair, like you did it. You found the key. You opened the window. You did it. True. Helped we a little helped. bit. And yeah. Kid uh, made I'm... sure we didn't get, you know, immediately spotted by cameras, which, by the way, that was good. I appreciate that. I didn't know that there were cameras in the plants. That's the, how much more pretentious can he get? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. Question. Don't don't leave me hanging. What you got? What is it? Right. Uh, do you think? Wait, can I let it out? It's a Pokemon Center. I figure if anywhere is going to be safe, it's fine here. I'm not going to tell. Yes. Okay. He'll he'll go over to the side and take the Pokeball out and click it once, and just toss it a little bit carefully. Mm-hmm. Okay. And out pops in a burst of, I'd say blue light, because recently they changed it to blue light. <laughs> it used to be red. Um, red out pops an Eevee. And it kind oh, of like yeah. uncurls a little bit from around itself, blinks a couple of times at the bright light, swishes its tail and looks up at you. It doesn't look surprised because Pokemon Ooh. can't hear a little bit through the Pokeball, so it looks like it was kind of aware. But it kind of... He, he just mm -hmm. crouches down, down to its level. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks excited for just a moment, and then it seems to remember itself and kind of lifts its chin in a kind of like, hmm, I'm not bothered by this gesture. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, you don't oh, have yes. to act all like... <laughs> you don't have to act like that anymore. Now you're mine. Kind of tilt each other. gotten you a couple years ago. <laughs> Heck yeah. Tilt why, 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 did he, why did he steal your Eevee? You need to tell him. He just helped you break into a Pokemon gym and steal I, a Pokemon from I'm him always... without knowing. He needs he deserves to know. Not a secret. I just don't like to talk about it. Fine. He, he'll just like reach forward and scoop up the Eevee and hold it as he turns back around and face kid. Just like, I mean, he didn't steal it necessarily. He just, my dad said that I could have this Eevee when I grew up to be a successful Pokemon trainer. And then he changed his mind because he's an asshole and said I couldn't have it anymore. <laughs> okay. Because your dad right. is... There you go. See? Yeah, I mean, I kind of I kinda figured, but you didn't seem like you wanted to answer, especially that picture. It looked just like you, but older. And it was really weird. You... Who has a portrait of themselves on... <laughs> wall of a gym. To be I fair, it was him with several people. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you got it though. Yeah, the gym leader. He's a jerk. I hate him. No. And I'm gonna use this EV <laughs> and win. What? What made him? Did he just randomly change his mind? Did you, Did you do something? Did he do something? But I don't, we, I don't really get it. We got in a lot of fights. We, we've always fought because he, like I said, he's an asshole. And sometimes I guess I am too. So. That's fair. The first time I met you, you called Milo a loser to his face. <laughs> I mean, he's used to that. Did he? I don't remember that. I did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that hey I didn't mean that seriously like Milo's just I call the loser all the time 
we we've known each other a long time so it's we're, we're used to it i'm used to it it's just how v is but like i said he's got a good heart the last time i yelled at him that he didn't come home when he promised he would during holiday and he said i was a kid and immature and blah 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 and that i didn't deserve to have eb when i got my license and that's bullshit A lot of weird family dynamics going on in your life uh well you got him back or her back i don't know if it's a boy or a girl but congrats you were decided out of character i don't know either because roll, i figured it would just be i actually did already <laughs> roll but if you want to oh, okay. change it i had to roll for the nature mm -hmm. ah yes 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 no I, I so like that. i actually already rolled i'm sorry it's not a shiny um <laughs> Damn. i ended up rolling i think it was like um yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a 69, unfortunately. It is a girl. <laughs> it is a girl. Oh. Okay. Um, it's a girl Evie, okay. and it has an arrogant nature, which I <laughs> which Hell I felt yes. very like, oh wow, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> Appropriate. <laughs> On brand. <laughs> On brand. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Alright, mm. well, let's get some sleep. We can talk to uh, the policewoman on the car ride tomorrow and tell her what happened while you upload all of the evidence the Yep, simultaneously <laughs> uh -huh. so that if, you know, like uh, anybody that's spent more than a minute in a room with the three of us knows that if I'm saying something and you're doing something else, I don't always know what that is. And so who's to say that I knew you were doing it at that point? It's, it'll be fine. Um, but that way we can yeah, exactly. Perfect crime. Mm hmm Sounds good to me. Yeah, Milo will take a bottom bunk and just kick his shoes off and probably just sleep in his, his clothes, take his shoes and his jacket off. Okay. Yeah. Um, this room, yeah, it has just like two bunk beds. One on the left, one on the right. There's like a window in between the two of them. There's a little like writing table off on the side on the opposite side of the door. But it has basically everything you need. The toilet is down the hallway. There's just like a shared toilet between all of these rooms. Pokemon centers are essentially like, oh, what do you call them? Not hotels, but like hostels. hostels. Yeah, they're like yeah. hostels. Yeah. That's kind of um, what I've been picturing. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so it's you, not, you crash where you can. Yeah, it's not yep. the height of, you know, luxury, I, but it's, it's usable. It's free. And it's free. And like in the show, they sleep on couches, they sleep on the floor. They're just happy right. to be sleeping in the wild. Right. Like, yeah. So yeah, I'm just uh, Bilo's happy to have a bed and happy that damn V got Evie. Like that okay. those were some fire roll. <laughs> they were really good. I'm surprised, honestly. You guys fucking I got the baby. Yeah. Got I need a new baby. You can nickname um, the baby anything you want. Yeah, yeah, you can nickname um, it. But her name I is Ivory. 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 I think you can even change it. You should be able to, because the mm -hmm. the EV that if it if it was like duplicated and put in the like yes. you were doing with the other Pokemon, then mm -hmm. yeah, that's just its own character sheet now. Yep, uh, that's exactly what I, I don't do. know how to change it. Hold Oop. on a second. If you. Initiative. <laughs> roll initiative. Oh no. Oh, no. I'm still rolling to GM. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Fuck. I changed it for you. Hell yeah. Yay. Yeah. I think that'd be a good place for yeah. our first day. It's our first it was our first day. We had a test, <laughs> a train crash, and then a breaking Hell and entering. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of things got done. Oh man. That was good. That was Oh, bad. Oh, good, good. I'm I'm sorry you didn't get your starters. I just wanted to start with something a little bit more like world building before you guys got. It, yeah. It, and I didn't think we'd so get good. here until after we went to Palette. Yeah. It it was so good and and it made so much narrative sense. Like I was talking to Gina during our break. Um, like Milo kind of came into this with the like, yeah, that's just sort of how society operates. Like he he had this non first hand exposure to it even you know hearing the stories that his dad had told mm -hmm. 
he had never seen it firsthand. And now <laughs> seeing it firsthand, it's kind of like catalyzing. He's realizing. <laughs> so it was, it was solid. It was really good. Good, yes. <laughs> good, good opening. Good opening. <laughs>